This is V81 Radio. Are you new to podcasting? Are you looking for a fast, high-quality, yet budget-friendly podcast production team? Let Transource Media take care of you. With a team of professional audio and video editors, copywriters, and graphic artists, we can help you build your podcast from planning, post-production, and platform submission. Using only cutting-edge software and studio equipment, we are here to make each and every show sound at its best. To get a free quote, please visit www.transourcemedia.com or send us an email at marketing at transourcemedia.com or call us at 209-505-5693. Transource Media, transforming businesses through the power of multimedia. Pinoy Music bang hanap mo? Listen to V81 Radio anytime, anywhere. Now, you can download our official mobile apps for Android and iOS for free. For Android, i-download lang ang V81 Radio app on Google Play Store. For iOS, i-download lang at the App Store. Just type in V81 Radio. That's letter V, number 8, number 1, space, and the word radio. OPM hit 24 hours a day, anytime, anywhere. For desktop or laptop, you can also log in to www.v81radio.com. Kaya makinig na kami po ang V81 Radio All Hits All Pinoy Nagahatid saya sa mga Pinoy mga kantang tatak Pinoy kahit nasan ka man kami ay mapapakinggan Streaming Worldwide The Future of Radio in Manila, California and Hong Kong This is V81 Radio Malayo ka man sa iyong pamilya dito ay hindi ka nag-iisa Yak ito'y iyong hahanap-hanapin Dahil ito ang nagpapasaya sa atin
Hello, yes, and well, good evening to all you creatures into the night out there. It's me, and I'm back. Yes, I'm back for another episode of Mysterium After Dark with Rob Rubin of Mysterium Philippines. And I am really, really happy to be back because I miss this. Holy Week is a very auspicious period to regain one's mystical abilities. And quite frankly, a lot has transpired since the last time I got to see my creatures of the night. So basically speaking, Holy Week was a time of transformation for all of us. And I'm sure my guest would gladly agree with this. Hello, E.K., and hello, Milton. Nice to see you. So, okay, that's on the Facebook Live page from Mysterium Philippines. But tonight, without further ado, I would like to introduce my dear friend and my now recently student. <laughs> uh, he graduated my Intuitive Awakenings course, but before that, he was already an exceptionally talented artist. He is the team leader of Leap 79, and one of his goals in this world is to publish his own tarot deck. Yes, that is. <laughs> yes, and since we are now part of the Mysterium family together, and he's one of the X-Men, I'm sh swinging for him left and right, and I told him, guess what, good looking, you're going to be on my show, and you're going to be talking about your deck. So, deck, huh? D-E-C-K. <laughs> Guys and girls, I know what you're thinking about. So, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the show my dear friend, my student, uh, creator of the upcoming Imaginarium Tarot, the ever so talented... CJ Francisco. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Mysterium After Dark. Thank you so much. All righty. So, okay. I'm sure people want to know. Okay. What was the deck? How did it come to be? What inspired you? How did it make it happen? Okay. Funny thing. Uh, during my leap journey, uh -huh. like it was one of my goals. Yes. It was, it was, in, it was first my per personal goal, like uh -huh. to have a tarot deck because I saw it as like a challenge yes a big challenge because <laughs> i draw i draw now and then but then uh -huh. suddenly having uh 22 artworks yes within the span of eight weeks kind of was like a stretch for me so i was like okay so yeah let's do that let's do that and then it happened and i was like you know what let's do the whole deck so after leap i'm like okay, okay let's make it happen let's make this work mm -hmm. and it's so exciting because the inspiration from this was actually from Stuff that I've already seen before. Yes. Because apparently I've already been very intuitive. Yes, of course, you are very talented. <laughs> Many like, people have said that about you. I've seen like spirit guides and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in most of the most of the deck, at least in the major arcana for now, are part of my entourage of spirit guides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have like an emperor of your own? I do. Oh, interesting. I do. Interesting. I, actually, I'm the magician of my own. The uh, magician of mine actually uh -huh. is... Funnily enough, my spirit guide for art. Cool. Which is why most of my art looks very organic and very nature. -y. Yes, it is actually very lovely. And people are already asking about it. Like, what kind of tarot deck does he have? And you're going to see that, lady. So, why the Imaginarium Tarot? What does that mean to you? Actually, the Imaginarium for me, it's all about living in your imagination. Living in that world which you personally see. And I think that's what everything's all it's all about. Like, having a world of your own. Uh -huh. And just being allowed to run free with your imagination okay so without further ado let's see your favorite card of okay, them okay, all wait. my favorite card actually is the star show it here please the world would like to see the star look how awesome that is yes he is holding the deck in his hands yes this is currently being created here in the philippines and why was the star your favorite honestly the star for me it's all about reaching your goals uh -huh. pursuing the one that you want to reach reaching your dreams and doing whatever it takes to get it. Isn't that and interesting? That's exactly what I feel like this whole thing is all about. It's mm -hmm. all about me achieving my goals and achieving my dreams and just really pushing forward. So for tonight, for those of you tuning in, you're going to get to ask your questions from both me and CJ about uh, what what's, what's in store for us all. You know, what are the things that we can gladly look forward to? Yeah, so right now it's 8.04 on the clock here at Mysterium After Dark. You know, if you're new here, please share the episode. Come on, the new friendships can really help us. And good evening, Malin and Ganda. Yeah, so one of your Mysteriumites is already saying it looks nice. Thank you, Krisa. That's very Thank kind you. of you. So, all right, to start me off, I'm going to be the one to break the ice. All Jay, right. draw a card for me. Okay. What will be happening to me in the next six months? Within the next six months. Well, wow, somebody's watching from Paris, France. Cool. Oh, you've got the Empress. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then? To me, the Empress is all about abundance. Oh, okay. It's all about having 
more, mm-hmm. but having a very nurturing energy also. Yeah. So within the next six months, I think you're gonna have you're gonna be experiencing a lot of care, uh-huh. a lot of nurturing energy. Yes. So, um, so a lot of nurturing care and abundance. Abundance. Usually, as a tarot reader, when I see the Empress, <laughs> I'm told of pregnancy. <laughs> Is she pregnant too? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, okay, well, if it's the will of God. People on the chat line here, somebody from Paris Francais, Stian Calvin, thank you for tuning in. Hello, hello. Fifi Wayne Montini, D- hello DJ Rob, and Hilary Lorente, one of my favorite fans. Hi CJ, hi Rob. Hello, and of course, hello. Celine S- and Temur. Okay, here's the next question I'm going to ask. All you. right. Okay. Uh, what will be my biggest trial for 2019? Biggest trial for 2019. Let's see. There better not be two empresses there. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, biggest trial is temperance. Temperance, yes. So it's, um, I think your biggest challenge should be realigning yourself. Okay. Um, realigning myself. Realigning yourself. Finding that balance. Mm-hmm. So maybe you'll be having some moments where you're kind of all over the place. Yes. So it might be a challenge. What the? Hold on. Yeah, that's weird. We're hearing something weird in the background. <laughs> All of a sudden, the music changed. Weren't we just talking about astral opposition? <laughs> that is very oh strange. My gosh. Yes. Okay, so what just happened? Let's just lower that. Okay, so let's just continue talking without okay. any music in the background. <laughs> Literally, the background music, the bed just changed on its own and then interrupted you. So what were we talking about? Uh, yeah, so it's all about... Um, finding yourself. Finding Grounding yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. So your challenge really is learning how to get... Get back to yourself. Wonderful, wonderful. So, okay, so since the technician is nowhere to be found and everything just went to pod, we've got to ad-lib the show for the remainder of the... There we go. The bed is back. There we go. Now, okay. Um, That being said, uh, what has been the greatest challenge so far for you in creating this deck? Please share. Viewers want to know. The greatest challenge so far, honestly, Uh was myself. Why? (laughs) Like, there are times when I'm just be like, I'm lazy, Mm. I don't want to do it. But at the same time, it was like, but I have to, but I want to, but ah. <laughs> but then, you know, it, it's funny because when I start drawing, mm-hmm. everything just starts flowing. Yes. But then the challenge for me is to just to start. Stop. Start, yes, to yes. start. But when I start, uh-huh. it just keeps on going. All right, so let's let the world experience the Imaginarium Tarot. Yeah. Um, those of you on the chat line, you may... Oh, yeah, his Instagram account, please. What is your Instagram ah, account? Yes. yes. The Instagram account is Imaginarium Tarot. I think. Sorry, wait, let me check. <laughs> you no, better know this, no, dude. I literally just made it. <laughs> you just made an Instagram account for this. I did, I did. Okay. Um, okay, it's Imaginarium Tarot. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. You're making a deck? Imaginarium Tarot. Okay? Did I say Tarot? <laughs> you said Tarot. Sorry. Tarot. <laughs> tarot. tarot. There you go. Tarot. There you go. Okay. The Imaginarium Tarot. Hello, Isabel. Uh... Bernard, okay. Now, Tessa de Jesus is asking, can I have a reading, please? Thank you. All right. You know what? Draw her a card. All Draw right. her a bone. Oh, the magician. Okay. Explain it. Okay. So, for me, the magician is all about your willpower. Mm. Your, what you want to happen. You want to manifest it. Yes. And having, having drawn this card, honestly, it's all about you have it. You have that willpower. You have that excitement and all of that you want to manifest more power more power mm-hmm. all right somebody else is asking pammy joyce tupas another regular on the show hello please pick a card for me thank you so much and guys remember the rule of politeness goes a long way especially with my guest no please no thank you no answer do not push me <laughs> okay i'm not gonna ask <laughs> okay um yeah i'm putting another card and it's the sun wow okay so what does that mean okay the sun is all about being a child, mm-hmm. being fun, being in the moment, just living for now. Mm-hmm. And everything good that's possi- that could possibly happen is happening. Wow. So you're just having fun, pretty much. Just remember to have that childlike innocence. All right, let me help some of the, help you lighten the load, okay? Since we're doing a Manghula episode tonight. Uh. No, this is just really just to showcase CJ's deck. It's a very, very beautiful deck. <laughs> I like CJ's deck, D E C K. Okay, it's a beautiful deck. Okay, guys, my people might take it the wrong way, but I'm gonna kind of decompress this a bit. So, Isabel Bernardo, may I have a card to please? Thank you very much. Ooh. Dennis Kanchinko, nice to see you. From, tuning in from Australia. 
the Queen of Wands. What does this mean? This means to me that you have to tap into your personal power. Make it happen, baby. Trust who you are. Unleash. Thank God you're safe, sir. Yes, I'm safe. I'm indestructible. <laughs> 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 All right, now, Mylene Balagtas. I may have a reading, please. Yes, you may. Wheel of Fortune. What does this mean? This means that luck is about to change. But the question would be, how was luck to you previously in the night before? Was it cruel? Because if it was, it's going to be nice. Was it kind? If it, if it wasn't, it's going to be a problem. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, send us a message here on Mysterium Philippines and we will gladly teach you how to purchase it. This is all supportive of CJ's dream of having the deck. Now, when are you planning to release this deck? Um, August 1st. August 1st. August 1st. Where? Paris, here, uh, Stockholm. Here in okay, here Manila, in Manila, Manila, Manila. Okay, all right. And you know what? You should start sharing this episode on your walls too. I know. That's why I'm, <laughs> looking, at, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, CJ Francisco is watching. Wow, there's actually somebody by your own <laughs> name that's watching the show. And Josh Arivas is watching. Sure? And of course, Roland is here. Hello, Roland. Hello, hello. The prefect of House Slytherin. That is so cool. Je Dennis Ganchi Ganchinko is harding this like crazy. Dennis, you're a dear friend. Why don't you ask one of us a question and we'll gladly read for you. For the meantime, E.K. Bumanglang. Sorry, I don't want to say if, it's, if I said it wrong. Sorry if I butcher your name, but... Reading for me and my boyfriend, please. Three of swords. Ooh. <coughs> Trust issues between the two of you. You might need to loosen up a bit. You know, distance will help. Okay, and if you're going to send a message, please don't do all capital letters. That's so, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say it. I don't want to de demoralize anyone on, on air. But yes, make it civilized. Josh Arivas, nice to see you. If, wasn't she a coach? Yes, yes, oh, she is my coach. Hello, guys. hello. Okay, can I have the Instagram account again, please? Okay, I will add it. What is it? It's... Imaginarium Tarot. Okay, Imaginarium Tarot. Okay, www.instagram.com slash... Imaginarium Tarot slash best tarot deck of the year. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if you guys want it, I just posted it. In Insta in ah, shit, I put Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Insta Instagram.com. <laughs> IG. I'm going to do it again. Sorry. Okay. It just started out. Yeah. So it's still going to fill up. So there's, you can actually see my process while. Uh, and what is your process? Okay. I have a notebook where I sketch everything out first, but I do my research. I, I find the meanings and mm. all that. And then later on, I'll just be like, okay, sketch what feels right. Mm. And then I start sketching little thumbnails and it's mm -hmm. there on the Instagram page. And then I fix, figure out the color palette and yes. all that. And then translate it to a bigger piece. Yes. Wow. From there. What was the most challenging card for you so far? The devil. <laughs> oh, wow. Old, old Nick. <laughs> Surprisingly, Why? it was the devil. It took me five days to actually five make days it. Five days triggered some shadow in you. So much shadow. Really? Like, for some reason, I was stuck. Like I couldn't get past it. Like I didn't want to. I couldn't. Like I, at that point, I just wanted to give up and be like, I'm done with the whole deck because yeah. of one card. Oh god! I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh -huh. And then to the very last minute, I was just like, okay, okay. There's no inspiration, whatever, what's happening. But, mm -hmm. okay, let's just try it out. And it turned out really well. And it turned out so Can well. Can we see it? Show us the yeah, devil, yeah. please. Yeah, let me find Old, old Nick devil. in your deck looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. Actually, he looks better in a suit, but then I'll take that. Who, who? Oh, the devil. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Look at that. That's so lovely. I mean, wow. I mean, it looks so so Sandman tarot. Have you seen the Sandman tarot? No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, yes, no. the original Sandman deck. That was really, really beautiful. It, it went extinct for a while. Ah, for a while, yeah, so it's back so, now. No, well, it was semi-back. Hmm. Um... That being said, it came back for a little bit, then it got discontinued again. You know, it's not going to last forever. So while it, what, during the time that it was discontinued, uh, it went up to astronomical prices. And I will share a story of how I got mine one of mm. these days. Okay, Hillary Lorente, since you're one of my OG viewers, and Megan O'Donnell, of course, this, this also goes for you. You can choose who do you want to read for you right now, me or the ever so good looking CJ with his Imaginarium deck. That's what you get for being a regular. Hello, <laughs> Megan O'Donnell. Nice to see you. This woman is from Missouri, I think, and mm -hmm. she purchased me the Lucius Malfoy walking stick wand. <gasps> Whoa. So she said it, she, awesome. yeah, she sent it to Vegas. And it's in a huge box, and now my mom's freaking out. How the hell is she gonna get it to me? <laughs> Ruth Grant. Hello, Ruth Grant. Nice to see you. So yeah, so it's like a gigantic, gigantic box. So 
does it it yeah it, it, it really just does. walking oh, stick nice. and so like I'm I'm looking forward to a new one it just will I ever get it that's the biggest question <laughs> so what le- what sent to Vegas stays in Vegas all right so see um okay fine Hillary thank you I'm honored you chose me the Emperor reversed and since the Emperor is my personal card I can resonate with this quite a bit be careful who you let control you be careful who you give your power to because everybody wants to control you especially the more beautiful faces right <sighs> there's always one domineering figure that wants to control them don't let that happen you're more powerful than that hillary so congratulations in advance hello mia yoshida first time to watch watching from japan oh. ellie ellie hello ellie miss prefect of hufflepuff <laughs> cj pick a card for me thank you this is for ellie she's a mysterious member ah okay hello hello okay let's oh uh... You got my favorite card. Reversed. <laughs> reversed. And why was it reversed? Okay. No, so what does it mean to you? Okay, for me, what it means is more of like, you know what you want. And you know what you want to do to achieve your mm-hmm. goals. Yes. But there's something stopping you. Like, there you go. You're probably stopping yourself. Yeah, so Ellie, get out of your own way. Yeah, get <laughs> out of your own way. <laughs> Hillary, you're so sweet. You said you watch GOT because of me. So don't. So be a Daenerys. You know what I mean? Rule everyone. No one rules you. Rule okay. everyone. Yeah, I mean, Daenerys, you have dragons. <laughs> yeah, you should have dragons, armies, and solid Dothraki. You know what I mean? That's like <laughs> the, every angle of hot in the world. <laughs> and she's not yes. even that ugly. You know, Daenerys is gorgeous. So yes. with the three dragons. Oh, no, no, no. Two, two dragons, dragons and an army. <laughs> That's just like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, sure. Um, Mia, since you're turning in for the first time, you got the star. Ah. <laughs> and what does that mean? A wish will be fulfilled for you, Miss Yoshida. So continue on hoping and continue on believing and it will happen. So it is presently 8.16 on the clock. We're going to go on our first break. But do stay tuned because we are still live on Mysterium After Dark. Here with Rob Rubin of Mysterium Philippines. Don't go away. Pinoy music all day long Streaming worldwide That's the future of radio is your all-hits, all-Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio. Transource Media is dedicated to provide reliable, affordable, fast, and efficient services to our clients. We offer services that have been strategically organized to produce high-quality results. We are focused on providing essential assistance such as, but not limited to transcription services, virtual assistance, web designing, audio, video, post-production, and voiceovers. Transource Media, your most reliable partner for all your business needs. For more information, visit transsourcemedia.com. Kabayan, oras na para manalo. Abangan lang ang pinakabagong segment ng OFW Online, ang Mr. and Miss Q&A. Oops, hindi ito pageant. Q&A, as in question and answer. At kahit sino pwedeng sumali. Mapapabae o lalaki ka man. Simple lang ito. Makinig o manood ng OFW Online tuwing Martes at Merkules, alas 8 ng gabi o tuwing Sabado at Linggo, alas 3 ng hapon. Magbibigay ng katanungan ang inyong OFW Online hosts at kapag alam mo ang sagot, tumawag agad. Gamit ang libreng tawag ng G Web Phone App. Kapag tama ang sagot, panalo ka ng 500 hanggang 1,000 Hong Kong Dollars o katumbas ng libu-libong piso. Kaya ano pang hinihintay mo? Para makasali, i-download mo na ngayon ang G Web Phone App. Available sa Google Play Store at Apple App Store. Kaya sali na, baka ikaw na ang Mr. and Miss Q&A. Oops! Back the budget. Ng OFW Online kasama si Cap Marvin at papatulit sa V. 81 Radio. Tunog Pinoy, Tatap Pinoy, streaming worldwide. The future of radio. This is your all hits, all Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio. V81 Radio.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And you know what? The theme of the week. Yes, this is what, exactly what Roland said. They never left. They never left. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Roland. Okay. Uh, Cholo is asking for a card. Yeah. And Miguel is saying, sell me one now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have that arranged for you. And he'll be def- I'll definitely invite you to the launch if you actually show up from the hospital. Um, yeah, but we're on the air once again with CJ Francisco. My hair looks horrible because <laughs> I took off the headset. But then... Um, what was I going to say? He is the creator of the Imaginarium Tarot. And he's showcasing his skills and his yes. deck <laughs> on the air. <laughs> uh, for those who want to ask questions, send a message here or on um, Facebook Live. The Mysterium Fe- Philippines Facebook Live is just featuring him. We're backing him up. If you're interested in purchasing a copy of this deck, pre-ordering, send us a message and say, attention please, how do we pre-order a copy of this deck? And we will give you all the necessary details on how to do that because yes. we're really backing him up. So, okay. Roland said, they never left. I kid, I kid. Strength, my significator, awesome. Thank you for the draw. Okay. Regina Vidalo is asking, can I have a reading about my life in general? All right. Oh, I got the moon again. Okay, and I wonder what that means. So your life in general for now, I think it's all about um, trusting your intuition, Mm. trusting yourself. So somebody's flirting with you, saying, James Wolvenstep Ward. Looking great, CJ. <laughs> thank, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I think he's taken, so quit flirting. <laughs> 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 All right. The next one who, uh, who's asking questions can ask questions directly of me. So send your questions, and I will answer them. Yes. So, hi, CJ. This is Irene Joy Lim. Hello. Hello. Yes, it looks like a leaper to me. I see her she profile. She is <laughs> uh, my batchmate in Leap 79. Ooh, yes, you should tell. Oh, I won't say anything from here. Okay, so the next person to ask will get a card from me. I will gladly shift the camera perspective in a bit. But then again, okay, so you told me doing the devil was tricky. Yes. Any other trials that you've been going through in creating this lovely deck? Um, Pretty much, I just get stuck in stuck. my own way. In your own way. I just be like... No inspiration. Be like, uh, how do I power through this? Mm-hmm. Nothing's coming in. Nothing's coming in. But yes. then after a while, it's like, oh, they're all flooding in. Do you drink coffee? I do. There you go. I do drink coffee. You know coffee. what I mean? Like, if I need to get sh- stuff done, <laughs> if I need to get stuff done, I'll just nuke myself with enough caffeine to wake the dead. Yeah. <laughs> and then when it's already in my system and I'm seeing the next dimension, that's when I do things. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. If you allow yourself to go with your ebb and flow, mm-hmm. you don't control your ebb and flow. You do not. You know what I mean? You so don't. you have to... <laughs> hijack your ebb and flow so it's like I need to work now the coffee 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 yeah, coffee 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 and then when you're like <laughs> <laughs> the problem is when your ebb and flow says go to sleep your body doesn't want to shut down it does so, not yeah but then that's the price of creation okay Janice is asking love life okay and you've got the six of swords Janice I don't know if you can see it um, the six of swords if you're watching on the other episode and this shows to me that uh, you need to get away from garbage right now okay so who is your biggest inspiration in tarot? Was there ever like a reader or a author or a deck that really just, you know, motivated you? Oh, what's this? Um, there's this one. My very first deck uh-huh. was, um, oh, um, that was given to me yes. actually was the Renaissance deck. Oh, the Renaissance deck. The oh. Renaissance deck had really inspired me because it was very watercolory. Mm. So much watercolor. And then later on, someone gave me uh, a fairy deck. <laughs> a fairy Which deck. was like my all-time favorite because uh, while I was reading for the... Uh, Renaissance deck. Mm-hmm. I was trying to read it by the book. Yeah, people make that mistake. Mm, yeah, and then when I decided to go for the fairy deck, and I just started reading from there, wow, I went all intuitive, and it was just flowing, and I was like, huh, I'm getting everything right. It's awesome. So that being said, um, you took your own path in learning tarot by yourself. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and then um, afterwards, what was so it was really leap that put the pedal to the metal and made you say I'm gonna go for it right yeah okay. pretty much um, how do I say how did you decide which style to use when doing your uh, you're doing your deck I mean like some people would try to make it very Rider White-ish mm-hmm. other people want to do so eclectic that I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore <laughs> so what was your your deciding factor well actually it's very much still based mm-hmm. on the Rider White yes well kind of yeah yeah, my, more you of know. the fountain tarot, but then yeah, kind of, okay, you know. okay. No, because like the basic things, mm-hmm. it's like it's still sort of there. Yes. But then, of course, I have to do everything in my own style. Of course, of course. So like, 
the way I draw it, the way I paint it, it's mm-hmm. like it's still very me. So mm-hmm. it's still very true to myself. Yeah, well, that that's very important too. I mean, you don't want to yeah, you don't want to make a deck that's like, hey, everybody, you like this, but it's nothing to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Too many people do that. Um, I wanted to ask, do you have like some sort of ritual you do when you create the deck? I mean, is it like do you turn on music? Do you drink coffee? Do you like sacrifice a chicken? I mean, like, what do you do? The chicken, yes. The chicken, <laughs> yes, the chicken. That's why he has a lot of chicken in his yeah, house. Yeah, you know, what? actually, um, the first thing I do, I'd actually. Sage. Oh, sage. I okay. would sage and Palo Santo my room okay. before making anything. Mm-hmm. Then sometimes I'd have crystals. I'd mm-hmm. have I have a lot of crystals in my house, mm-hmm. in my room. So sometimes a couple of them will be on the desk mm-hmm. while I'm painting or mm-hmm. drawing. And then uh, after I sage and after I cleanse the place, I'm just like, okay, sit down for like a minute, think about okay, higher energy, connect. Let's mm-hmm. see what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, Reiki, that sizz. Yeah, and how did that help for you? Things just kept flowing and flowing and flowing. All until you hit the devil. Until I hit the devil. <laughs> then the devil, you needed an exorcist, right? Uh-huh. Be nice. He's a very <sighs> nice card. <laughs> okay, congratulations, CJ. Hello, Rob. Can I ask for a reading what's in store for me for 2019? Let's do this personally for head coach. Hold on. Ah, no, what happened? I lost you. No. Sheesh, you got to do this again. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Crikey, see? Like right when I was going to read for head coach. <laughs> He's going to kill me. She's going to like, oh, you can shut off the show. <laughs> okay, let me just do this. Okay. You might need to share it again. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's do this again. Uh, let's see if I can salvage it. Hi. This is my first time actually Facebook living. I think we got cut. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Facebook live is a very fun, fun thing to do. It really develops a nice audience. So, uh, Mysterium. Uh, one moment. <laughs> We're just doing this, as, doing this as it as it flows. Okay, start live video. Haha. Uh-huh, okay, how do I? Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, I'm I'm putting a new one. All right. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be like looking like what happened? Where did it end? All right, so like while we're tuning in on the other show, um, I'd like to know, um, do you use Oracle decks? Me personally, I have one. Uh huh. But I'd never really learned how to use it. Okay, which deck was that? The Wicca Oracle deck. Okay, and it's. I bought it like. Twelve years ago. (laughs) It was just gathering dust there. Yeah. Okay, well that sucks. Also runes though. Runes. I'm starting to use like. It's not that difficult. Like I thought it was, but then eh, it's 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 fine. It's a little bit more archaic. Did you ever have any trouble like applying it? Uh well what I do is just like I pull out one and just read it like with the book. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much all I do. And every time I get it, it's like, okay, this is what I need to know for the day. Okay. It's like a daily thing. All right, so let's just let the uh, channel populate a bit because you're probably wondering, like, what happened? You got cut. A lot of people are reacting to the video, though, so let me just continue Is commenting. This a yeah, second one. Yeah, it just says Mysterium After Dark. Uh-huh. New link posted. <laughs> Share. Sorry about that. Was not expecting that. Yes. Uh, Queen Isa. Hello, Robin CJ. Please read for me. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Hello, this is for you, Queen Isa. Queen of Wands. Hmm. You need to tap into your own power right now. Don't underestimate your strength. Yes, that's what you need to do. There you go. Hello, CJ, again. Hello, okay, hello. so more people are here, and we're having a good time. You were live tonight with um, the creator of the Imaginarium Tarot, CJ Francisco. And um, you do have a fan page, right? I do. I also just started that. <laughs> Uh, it's the Ima- yeah. yeah, maybe we could also use that. The Imaginarium Tarot. Yes. Same. There you go. Same Imaginarium Tarot on Facebook, right? On Facebook, yep. yeah. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm going to share this now too. Share it to my... Uh, share it to my page. Okay, there you go. I'm just posting this out there. Okay, Teresa DB. Hi, Sir Rob and Sir CJ. Can you read a card from my love life? Take it away. Okay. Let's see. What do you have? Ah! The wheel. Okay, so what's happening? Okay, so the wheel is all about making sure like things are uh, not really making sure, but more of uh, the cycle, cycle. basically. Um, things are gonna go up, things are gonna go down, mm-hmm. but you just gotta remember that 
things will always work out for the best. There you go. Now, Jackie, HK, HC, thank you very much. This card's for you. Nine of Cups, meaning... Sorry. <laughs> meaning that a lot of things are going to be coming your way this year. A lot of things that you're proud of. But remember, tokens and trophies only go so far. Don't forget yourself. You're a loving, wonderful woman. No, learn to say no, but learn also to appreciate all the wonderful things you've made. So this card is for you. All right, back to CJ. <laughs> this is just like me just hijacking the questions for VIPs. All right, so like, okay. Um, do you intend to make another deck? Yes or no? Let's get through this one first. <laughs> Let's get through this okay, one. Okay, so how far are you from finishing this deck? Well, I actually just... Okay, so my process uh -huh. is I will write down all of the meanings first mm -hmm. for all the cards, which I've already done. Yes. That was my action plan for yes. last week. Okay. This week's action plan is to come up with all of the thumbnails. Yes. So... I'm looking to finish maybe by June, mm -hmm. like all the cards. All the cards. So by printing it out, maybe July. Mm -hmm. And then just in case anything goes wrong, because, you know, things do. Yeah, <laughs> as they, they always do. do. So I've given myself a buffer time for like a month at least before oh. the launch. Okay, so the launch is going to be here in Metro Manila. In Metro Manila. Okay, and from what I know, you're pre-selling the deck, yes, right? Yes, I am. So you're pre-selling <laughs> the deck. Uh, if you guys are interested in ordering that, you can send us a message here and we can link you up with CJ. He can he can take pre-orders for the first run of this deck anywhere from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. He will not yet ship abroad. Okay? Not yet Not abroad. yet, no. but anywhere in the Philippines. So if you want to be of the first 20 people to get the deck or to sponsor his deck, we'd really love to, how do I say... Uh, to help you out there. So it's 8.30 on the clock. We're going to take another five-minute break. Do stay tuned. Papa Tolls, take it over, brother. For those of you on Facebook Live. Yeah, stay tuned. Got a Annoying music all day long. Streaming worldwide. That's feature of radio. Is your all hits all Pinoy internet radio station? This is V81 Radio. Transource Media is dedicated to provide reliable, affordable, fast, and efficient services to our clients. We offer services that have been strategically organized to produce high quality results. We are focused on providing essential assistance, such as, but not limited to transcription services, virtual assistance, web designing, audio, video, post production, and voiceovers. Transource Media, your most reliable partner for all your business needs. For more information, visit transsourcemedia.com. Heto na ang programa para sa inyo. Para sa mga OFW. Programong tutulong at tutugon sa inyong mga lungkot at problema. Para sa mga OFW. Programong mag-aalis ng homesick sa mga bayaning gaya ninyo. Para sa mga OFW. Sa iba't ibang dakuman ng mundo, maghahatid ng tuwa at saya sa bawat Pilipino. Para sa mga OFW. Maglilingkod para sa OFW. OFW Online. OFW. OFW Online Mapapakinggan tuwing Martes at Merkules alas 7 ng gabi at tuwing Sabado at Linggo alas 3 ng hapon Kasama sina Cap Marvin at Papa Tolitz OFW Online OFW Online Kaya mga kababayan, tutok na Dito lang yan sa V81 Radio Ularan ay nasa iyo, bagong one For one movement part in this ng bagong Pilipino Mga kabataan, mga kababayan Ito ang bagong one, break it down 31 yo 31 yo 31 one movement 31 yo 31 one movement Ishade ang 31 yo Iboto, One Movement Party List, 31 sa balota. Iboto, One Movement Party List, 31 sa balota. Paid advertisement for and by One Movement Party List. 145 Matatag Street, Diliman, Quezon. 3 LPM Grades, magsasama in a one-night special. Mesa Bar and Grill, Hector Mejia Associates. In cooperation with Buy-in Promotions. 3 cents, on to go in San Francisco, 2019 U.S. Tour. Samahan natin ang Asia's Phoenix, Morissette. <laughs> Hip hop artist H Bomb. And 
1990s multi-awarded Pinoy band, Intro Boys. If I ever had a line to heaven, I swear. On to go in San Francisco, 2019 U.S. Tour, May 12th, Sunday, 7 p.m. At the Creative Arts Building, Pittsburgh High School, Pittsburgh in California. Kasama din si na Miriam Panti, Devo Bayer, Ray Kilai, Hyacinth, and Monumental by far as special guests. For tickets, go to buyandpromotions.com slash on the go. That's buyandpromotions.com slash on the go. Tune in to V81 Radio for more details. On the go in San Francisco, 2019 U.S. Tour. Featuring Morissette, H-Bomb, and Intro Voice. Brought to you by Mesa Bar and Grill, Hector Mejia Associates. In cooperation with Buy and Promotions and your official radio partner, V81 Radio. All hits, all Pinoy. Pinoy, Tatap Pinoy, streaming worldwide. The future of radio. This is your all hits, all Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio. V81 Radio. Okay, Creatures of the Night, we're back. And, yes, uh, I can't hear CJ yet. Ah, and, yeah, there you go. There you and go. we are graced with the presence of such an amazing man, the creator of the Imaginarium Tarot, soon to be released this August here in Metro Manila. Um, and going to go places, I really predict great things coming his way because his heart and his passion is in everything that he does. So, that being said, um, tonight we're doing readings for him. I'm p- basically trying not to read myself because I'd like him to showcase his deck. That's why, I mean, usually I'll be the one pimping the cards. But if you're a VIP, I'll gladly read for you. <laughs> but then if you're t- tuning in and you want to see the deck and ask a question, he'll draw a card for you and interpret it. This not only practices his tarot skills, but it also showcases the loveliness Okay, of the deck. So you told me earlier that the hardest card was the devil. Yes. What was the easiest card? Oh, the fool. The fool. The Why? fool. It was the easiest one because, uh-huh. like, okay, I closed my eyes, uh-huh. and I was like, okay, this is what it means. It means all about new beginnings. Oh, this is exciting. Mm-hmm. And then I just started seeing swirls mm-hmm. and like colors, and it's like, okay, yes, there it is, and it just came out. There you go. There you go. And then, like, I have, since I'm a, a junkie for one particular card, mm-hmm. I'd like to ask, what was your experience like with the Emperor? The Emperor. Wow. Okay. Uh, I can actually remember while I was making it. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I want the Emperor to be very strong and structured, mm-hmm. but also very fatherly. Mm. So not like... I have two of those. I don't have the third. (laughs) Okay, go on. So while I was making it, I was like, okay, for me, a tree... A tree. A tree person is very, very strong. So Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I want him to sort of like morph into a tree because that is all about structure and stability for me. Mm -hmm. And then like, it it seems very Game of Thrones actually. Hold on. So he's like like the, the tree people? Yes. Is that what you think? Okay, yes, wait. Yes. Um, Therese DB is asking, uh, Sir Rob, are you also creating your own cards? Um, <laughs> I've got a whole deck prepared in my mind, but I don't have the art ability to actually get it out into the world. So that being said, I would like to, but until I have the gifts that either Jacob or, or my son or um, CJ has, no, I'm not coming out with a deck. But I am writing a book about tarot soon, so be on the lookout for that. So this is Emperor. That is legendary. It's so Arthurian. I like it. Um, he also kind of looks like Jesus. Or... Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Emperor <laughs> Jesus. You know, I, if, if I were to sponsor your deck, I would ask for a rendition of that, mm-hmm. but with a purple cloak. Can be done. Okay, there it you go. And, and that's actually what we're talking about, right? That you were considering doing the whole crowdsourcing thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So example, if like, um, what are one of the things a, a sponsor could expect if they donated, let's say, a thousand pesos? A thousand pesos... That would be like 
a full reading. A full reading? A full reading. Okay. Because by then, yeah, I you, will you be... Would, yeah, you would be already a full Avenger by then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if, if they donate a thousand pesos to your fund to print and create the deck, mm-hmm. you'd give them a full reading as a full thank reading, you. Okay. Yeah. But what if they wanted to buy the deck with through their sponsorships? Through the sponsorships. How much would they need to donate? Let me go check. I forgot what it was. Oh, you forgot. I forgot. Somebody didn't Let do his me. homework. No, okay. <laughs> to get a full deck. Uh-huh. It's two five. Two five. So by donate, but then if I donate two five, I get the deck and the reading. You do. You That's, get a deck and a reading. That is brilliant. So for those of you who are listening, CJ is saying that if you donate two thousand five hundred pesos to his cause of printing and creating the deck, his crowdsourcing, you're gonna get a reading and a deck. My God, a deck alone is usually like two thousand. So it's like, come on, you can't go wrong with this. No, and then uh, Elora is saying he looks like Eddard Stark. Yeah, well, I like <laughs> Eddard Stark. Okay, all right, that's cute. So um, that being said, um, what about for those who really want to go to the wall? Like, I'll give like, you ten Gs. Okay, <laughs> what's so, some of the things they get from that? For ten K, uh huh, it's actually okay. I will give you three decks. Wow, three decks, uh, a full reading. Uh huh. Acknowledgement in the stuff, uh-huh. art print uh-huh. set from my personal work before, mm-hmm. stickers and a personalized tarot. Wow, that might take time, but yeah, oh yeah but then you're gonna get it anyway. You're gonna get it at some point. So th- if 10k gets me three decks, personalized art, it gets me uh, what else? It gets me a card. It gets me your own prints. Jesus Lord. I mean, Roland's saying, take my money. <laughs> it's so, wow. So, like, I'm sure you're going to post all of this on your fan course, page soon. Yeah. Cause, like, um, uh, yeah, from what we talked about previously, uh, there's very few kickstarting op- opportunities in the Philippines. So, mm-hmm. if you're interested in helping and donating into any amount, any amount at all, um, there will be certain tiers given to you, according to CJ. He was telling yes. me that on the way here that, like, even a thousand, even 500 bucks, any kind of mm-hmm. donation will merit some sort of. Uh, reward and thank you system because yes. you know this is how we support our our up and coming artists and our up and coming readers. We we give them these opportunities to be heard in places that they previously wouldn't have been able to be heard. So if you guys are interested, come on, send us a message. Say hey, I'm interested. I'd like to donate so I can get a par- uh, get a deck or I can get a print or like just to help him out and we can set that up. I can give you his contact details right after the show. So come on, I mean let's help this guy. Okay. So here's the other thing I'm gonna ask you. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite deck or a deck that you've been swooning over? Yes, actually it's the or- mermaid deck. <laughs> wow the mermaid? The mermaid deck, yeah. You don't have that? I do not. Like okay, I saw it what maybe 10, 15 years ago. Uh-huh. And I was just like, oh it's so pretty but also expensive. I mean I was a kid at the okay. time. So I was like I don't have that kind of money. Mm-hmm. When it was probably around maybe a thousand at the time, I think. <laughs> so now you regret it. It's like now I regret it. it. It's only a thousand bucks. It was. It was only. But you know, as a 12, 13 year old kid, yeah, it's like it's the like, world already. Ugh, what is that money mm-hmm. anyway? Um, now I've been trying to look for it. Mm-hmm. Like I've been looking for it online. Yeah. But it's not the same ones that I the, saw. The original one. Yep. All right. I noticed you have a Tibetan dagger on your wrist as a tattoo. No, it's what? a trident. Oh, a trident. Actually. Oh, cool trident. I didn't notice that. It's I thought, a it was, trident. thought it was a Vajra. And what does it mean? Okay, so this one, I actually got it in Shargao last year. Wow. I designed it myself. Mm-hmm. So the trident was because it's my first time to actually go to Shargao or anything on my own. Mm-hmm. So it's all about bravery mm-hmm. and adventures. And then the mermaid tale mm-hmm. is about because I am a merman. <laughs> You're a merman. <laughs> I am a merman. Uh-huh. And the wave at the bottom is because I love the sea. Wonderful. It's where I'm meant to be. Yeah, he kind of got that whole. Uh, Jason Momoa thing going for him. Okay, so let's get Shame. back to some readings. <laughs> we have Anissa Aguila, a Mysterium graduate of Tarot, tuning in. <gasps> she is. Yeah, she's Anissa. She's my friend. Anissa dude. is is one of us. She's she, from Blue Rat. Yeah, yeah. She 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 was a very very good talent during her time. Yeah. And she still is. I mean, like she was an an impressive reader, and I had a very fun time teaching her. She was the previous batch. Ah. So no no no. She was the batch before the one that just graduated the previous batch had Raymond Etso in it and that was really interesting because I mean you know Raymond he has this this very cordial energy to him mm-hmm. so and I'm sure he'll be buying a few of your decks as well so all right let's let's do some other questions okay um we have an upcoming election oh draw oh. a card yes okay. what's the card gonna let's be about see. come on the magician okay <laughs> we're gonna do magic so we're like, gonna be doing magic okay all right <laughs> um there's a lot of strong personalities happening uh-huh. and a lot of them Want uh-huh. to be there? Yes. So <laughs> let's just see what kind of magic these people are going to be bringing into the table. <laughs> Willpower to the max for crying out loud. Okay. Also, um, let's do another one. Okay. Uh, what's a good one? What's a good one? Climate change. Climate change. Because you're all about the sea, and the seas are part of the climate. Sea 
The wheel. The wheel. So okay. what does that mean? Huh. What is it about? It's all about. Uh, it's time for people to start changing their ways. Yeah, I think that's necessary. You know, at the end of the day, it's still our planet. Yeah. And, you know, if we keep dumping into it, you know. It's. It's in danger. <laughs> yes, and you know what's funny? Like I was just telling you this on the way here that like Jason Momoa literally shaved his beard to draw attention to uh, environmental issues, especially about plastic bottles. Yes. And he was like, um, it, it ticks me off. He said, like, you can just put it in a can. A recy- an aluminum can is and it's recycle recyclable. It. Yep. And why are you going to, you know, these plastic bottles are all over the place. And he was just, sh- it was on CNN. He was just shaving. <laughs> and then in the end, it was just all gone. It's like, no more Drogo, no yeah. more Arthur. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, if somebody as awesome as Jason Momoa can do that, then, you know, what about us? I mean, yeah. it's our planet at the end of the day. And- in any sh- way, shape, or form that mm-hmm. you can help, mm-hmm. that's good enough. Don't think it's too small. Exactly. All right. Does anybody else want to ask questions on the Facebook Live page, or are we going to cancel the show? What do you want? I don't want to send him home. I'm having such a good time. Yeah. All right. I'm going to check the other avenue. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Okay. Sorry about that. Hello. Hello, Ray Sal. Hello, Nancy. Congratulations on graduating from tarot. Welcome to the illustrious world of tarot reading. Okay, Harry Potter reader, are you? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, really? That was my childhood. And oh, Dodgy, another alumnus, an ancient alumnus of the Mysterium community. He's tuning in right now. Hello, Dodge. We Hello. miss you. Draw a card for Dodgy. McDodge, this card's for you. This is one of our graduates of IA. Oh, the devil. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Dodgy uh, has but it. But <laughs> it is... It's reversed. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's being unstuck. Mm-hmm. It's just... You already... You felt that stuck moment that time when you're like uh i can't do anything Mm -hmm. and you move past it okay and then thank you for that somebody's asking did you guys feel the earthquake said yeah Yeah. we kind of felt it because we got stranded (laughs) and then we were like late for a while because of it so we felt it in our own (laughs) way thank you very much all right i'm going to the live channel um all right this is for liza zapico um hello cj and rob can you pick a card for me i need to enlighten up not enlighten up it's lighten up thanks Okay, what are you asking? Yeah, one card? Yeah. The High Priestess. There you go. Yeah, it's That's all a lovely High Priestess. Thank you. She's one of my spirit guides. Oh, cool. Um, it's all about listening to your intuition. Mm-hmm. Uh, just knowing that everything is going to be okay mm-hmm. and just moving forward with it. Amazing. Okay, Therese DB is asking, Harry Potter fan, Slytherin or Gryffindor? I am a Ravenclaw. Oh, I take you for <laughs> it. Okay, okay, yes. And if you must ask me, you don't know me and you're not deserving to ask me. Okay, if it's not obvious what house that I would swear allegiance to, mm. then you need to pay attention more often. Okay, so you're into Harry Potter. What was your favorite of the seven books? The fourth. The fourth. The uh, fourth. Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. Why? For sure. I love the Triwizard Tournament. Uh-huh. It's like, it's the first time I actually wanted to be in some sporting event. <laughs> All right. This really lovely lady called Mumti Quevedo is asking, can you draw a card? For two? Of course, mommy. <laughs> She's my coach. There I'm so go. proud of her. Ah, the world. Okay. Okay. It's all about everything that you've been wanting. It's all coming to fruition. At least you're going to have it and everything's just going to be at peace and everything's okay. Hey, Yoko. Nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I was going to tell you, so number four was your favorite. Mine was uh, number six. Number six. Yeah, ex, yes, the Half-Blood Prince. It was it just kept getting darker It gets, darker. got so dark. And you know what? The, the, the build-up between six and seven, uh-huh. I spent like days basically, uh, how do I say, mulling on over potential theories of what could be going on because there was just oh, so yeah, much yeah, yeah. unexpected things happening. It's just so amazing, so amazing. You know, you're lucky because you have your coach actually tuning in. Mm-hmm. One of my blessings was after my leap, my uh-huh. coach actually enrolled into my tarot course. Ah. And she learned tarot for me. And she was probably t- one of the top of her class. And not only my coach, my coach's coach. Oh. Also, to, uh, to, I won't mention any names. Oh, you got to figure it out. I did not say any names on the air. <laughs> But then, uh, yeah, they we, so we were like three generations of Slytherin in the same uh, class. It was uh, so beautiful. <laughs> and my son was also there. So it was like one. And he's a Slytherin he's just, through and through. Okay. <laughs> as in like my, my wife's like, he's not a Slytherin. He's a Gryffindor. It's like, no, mom, a Slytherin. Back <laughs> off. So, so it, was, it was a really beautiful class. I mean, I really missed that. So, okay. Jamila is asking, TJ, my loves, draw a card <gasps> for me, the, please. Yes, of course. The Emperor. Oh, wow. Ah, again, all about structure. Ate is all about structure. <laughs> Structure and power. Yes, learn to you know own up to your own power. Mm-hmm. Uh, Therese DB, are you happy with the ending of movie versus books for Harry Potter? Honestly, 
whenever people ask me about books versus movies, uh-huh. I'm always like, I like them both because yeah. I take them as separate entities. Yes. Because you, if you're gonna base the movies uh-huh. off of the books, you'd yeah. be like, you just be frustrated. The yeah, whole time of course, of course. Because you'll they're missing out on things, yeah. blah blah blah. But then, as it as its own entity, uh-huh. it's great. Yeah, that's true. Because like the way I've seen it is like, um, I didn't read all the Harry Potter books. Believe it or not, I read five, six, and seven. Ah. Okay, and I still remember that book seven was the fastest book I ever read in my life. I finished that book in eight hours. Oh my! I was just wow. like, I, I told my best friend when I bought it. He bought it for his future wife, uh-huh. and then he wanted he wanted to give it to her on a date. And I said, Marcos, when I purchased this book, you do not exist to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is three years of waiting. I want my answers. So like when I was reading, it's like, Hey Rob, uh, what do I do? I will kill you <laughs> away. <laughs> That's how zoned in on it. But the thing is, with the last book, honestly speaking, um. I didn't like certain things that they did in the movie that mm. the book made perfectly. So mm, like, like like in the movie they made Voldemort hug Draco. Oh that happened. Okay, okay. <laughs> in yeah, the yeah. book that's like no. That's, weird. that's really weird. Like yeah, yeah. Voldemort hugging anyone is just disturbing. So it that that scene was very disturbing. It, exactly. It was like he looked like a, such a child molester, you know what I mean? So <laughs> that that botched it for me. And um there were certain things that I wanted to see that they didn't really get to do. So now somebody else is asking, have you read Beetle the Bard and Fantastic Beasts? No. No, okay. No, well, no. How about okay, how about Cursed Child? Yes, of okay, course. Okay. A lot of people had issues with that. Well, yeah. Because they were like, oh, it, what is this? This is not a book. I'm like, um, it says a script. It, it's says a, yeah, it's a it, script. it was a script, but it's like, wait, did, did Rowling actually write the script? I don't remember. I think she helped. Okay, so does it, that's weird because it doesn't really count then because it's not like her original work. Because like, it, unlike the book where it's yeah. all her, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it, versus like, I, it's just like what happened with Star Wars. When George Lucas yes. was the one behind it, it was still his vision. But when he started handing his vision over to others, now we have you know Rex like the Last Jedi <laughs> that will forever be stains on the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still a spinoff of yes. what it is. Exactly. And, and it, again, taking it as its own entity. And it's it's, be- it's better. It's better that uh, there's something than nothing, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Therese DB is saying she helped with the script, so yeah, she didn't write it. That's why there were problems with it. And Coach Munti is saying I love the seventh. Yeah, the seventh was really, really cool. Seventh was the fun. book was really, really good. Um, I remember, uh, I I had a theory. Do you know what my theory was? What we were always debating, me and my friends, uh, whose side was Snape really on? Okay. Okay. So everybody was talking. He's on Dumbledore. He's on Voldemort. No, but nobody knew. And then one theory I was ho- banking on was that he was on neither, and he wanted to be the next Dark Lord. Imagine if they threw. You know th- what? Yeah, yeah, that yeah could be. exactly. Imagine if they threw that bone in. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's like okay, Voldemort's dead, Harry's dead, and now it's him. And he's just like, all right, exactly. Well, it's, me it's, now. it's like whoa, <laughs> but no, it didn't happen. And you know, we're just all geeking out now about nothing. <laughs> and you know, I, I'm actually hoping that J.K. Rowling pulls a George Lucas, mm. and she's like, all right. You know what? I'm gonna do it again. Out of you know the shadows. I mean? Out of the shadows. Let's make another a book nine, or let's, <laughs> or, or even you know what? Even the story. Of the first Wizarding War would be very interesting, like a like a back yeah the story yeah, about yeah, Voldemort yeah. and about um about the Marauders mm-hmm. and uh, the, the the original uh, Order of the Phoenix you know that would make it really fun but that would be interesting. I, she's got enough money to not ever but you know it would be nice. But speaking of which, yes. okay, did you ever wonder why there's not a Harry Potter tarot? You know what. You uh, know why? What, what? What? Okay, back with back in two thousand five, uh-huh. I was in this group called Pinoy Harry Potter, uh-huh. and they did come up with a deck, uh-huh. with the Major Arcana. I don't know what happened to it. Like it was just for one of the conventions. Mm-hmm. Like someone made it, and it was really cute. It looked like this anime thing, mm. but then that was it. Like it was just the Major Arcana. The closest thing I ever saw that really impressed me: this artist from Australia. I forgot her name. She created tarot cards for each of the Death Eaters. Each of the Death Eaters that were registered were there, and Voldemort himself. Oh, so I would be waiting every Wait, month. Where did you see this? It, it, it was on Deviant Art. It was on Deviant okay, Art okay. Death Eater cards, and how she would how, she had this really gruesome Quentin Tarantino slash Tim Burton oh. way of doing each and every one of them, and she had like backstories for all of the characters that was borderline creepy. Okay, oh my God, so the, yeah, I, I'll talk to you about it behind the show. Yeah. But it, I used to have them as. I used to save all of them on my phone, okay? Okay. So on a, in, in, in older days. But then every, like, two, three months, she'd come up with her own card, like, example. If you ever wondered what, like, 
Robert Stan Lestrange looked like. You know, mm-hmm. they would really have something like that. Okay, Jamila Eileen, the nerd in me is being resurrected listening to the Harry <laughs> Potter discussion. <laughs> okay, who is your favorite character in Harry Potter? Hermione. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. Why Hermione? Because like she was the one who's always like, okay, guys, come on, let's do this. All right. Yeah. Well, she. But like, but she was like a rule junkie. Yeah, but then you know. Okay. Somebody's asking you three. Serge CJ, will it be possible for you to create a card for characters for Harry Potter? Hmm. Possibly. If you commission an Possibly. artwork from him and yeah. you donate, then yes, maybe you could be. send us a message. We can make it happen. Uh, because like, okay. I bet you can't guess who my favorite character was. Nobody can get it. In all of the Harry Potter. Most people just can't. They, they always throw something big like Hagrid or Voldemort. Dobby? Huh? Dobby? Come on. It's like, <laughs> hello, that's cute. Hello. That's cute. No. He said because no one's going to get it. It's like, okay, least likely. <laughs> well, no, no. This one makes sense if you know the lore. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, empowered lady. Hermione. <laughs> Who? Um, Mad Eye Moody. I right. just, I just love okay, the okay. whole concept of the dark wizard catcher. Mm. I mean, I really love the idea of that. Nope, not Snape. <laughs> I did not <laughs> like Snape. <laughs> okay, I don't like guys with, uh, with issues. L- pining issues. No, not Remus. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Um, well, there, well, okay. Well, somebody did come up with a Harry Potter tarot deck, but it's unofficial. It's the HP tarot, ah. and it looks really. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it looks it's actually very old. And yeah, very ancient. Yes. But this is not the one I'm talking about. No, this doesn't have my vote of approval. Remus. <laughs> not Remus. Yeah, but yeah, it was Mad Eye Moody because Mad I like the idea of the Dark Wizard Catcher and like, you know, how he, like they said that half the cells in Azkaban were filled because of him. Mm. So that's oh, the, you know what? Actually, one of my other favorites is mm-hmm. Luna. Luna Lovegood? Yes, because well, yeah, she's yeah, in her you, own you little ca- world. Yeah, but she's like so useful to everybody. She is. She's probably like my sister, and if I was there, yeah, you'd, be she'd be both re- Ravenclaws. Yeah. That would be so <laughs> perfect for you. That would be so perfect. Okay, aside from Harry Potter, what other books have have like affi- have affected your life? Miss Peregrine. Okay, home, home for, for peculiar th- children. Okay, yes, I'm sure you would have done well there. Yes, what? because I'm such a peculiar child. Yes, we need a little bit more purple in that hair, though. What else? You know what? Yes. <laughs> um, hmm. Actually, I, I read a lot of like really dark stuff but mostly you know we're talking true... dark we're not talking perverse right true Philippine ghost stories oh that stuff alright that yeah stuff. that's not that dark that's... I mean it's dark but then also I go a lot on reddit oh, so I... like horror stuff like that horror stuff have you read uh, my book yet the purple one you know what yes <laughs> you know what you know what? <laughs> what I was reading it last night uh-huh. the other I night. told you not to read it at night you know what <laughs> one of my crystals just fell <laughs> off of its shelf and I was like how 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 I'm like okay maybe now is not the right time <laughs> I, to read this I told you you know what I mean? don't want to mess with that book I was getting to the point of um, talking about the dead uh huh and then <laughs> that's still just, early on uh-huh. right so I was like ah Okay, I'm gonna stop now. This is for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I have another question. Since, since the Harry Potter thing is a little bit more palatable for mm. the things, and let's just make it fun. What subject do you think you would have most excelled in in Hogwarts? Oh, I okay. Most excelled in probably would be divination. 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 Which would you want to teach? I would want to teach Defense Against the Dark Arts. It's that's <laughs> such that, a fun thing to do. But that's the cursed course. But it's fun. <laughs> okay, okay. It's the most fun of everything. I mean, Herbology is like... Duh. Yeah. But, okay. you know... Somebody's here saying, I grew up reading Philippine ghost stories as well. You know what? I had an entry there, actually. You did? Yeah. In the eighth book, it was my dad's story. Really? Like They were along Balete Drive. Mm-hmm. And then... Hi, was, Rosanna. Nice to see you. There was like two houses mm-hmm. and then like right across each other and there's like a lady mm-hmm. so he, he slowed down just to be like okay she's looks like she's gonna cross mm-hmm. and when he sped up because she wasn't moving mm-hmm. she jumped in front of the car and then like <sighs> disappeared he, and she disappeared he's like what the hell and then the next day he comes back those two houses mm-hmm. weren't there anymore all right, so you really want to take this 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 discussion to the scary or stories? You're getting to the you scary forget stories. you're gonna you forget who you're talking to. You know what I mean? I this did is not. gonna scare. The, you're not gonna <laughs> sleep at night, okay? Remember, I used to work with Mysterio, uh-huh. so they would send us to haunted places to confirm or deny. Uh-huh. So, all right, we're gonna talk about the scary stuff in the next two minutes. We're gonna go on break now. Papa Tolls, can you please give us a five minute break?
play music all day long. Streaming worldwide. That's the future of radio. Is your all hits all Pinoy internet radio station? This is V81 Radio. Transource Media is dedicated to provide reliable, affordable, fast, and efficient services to our clients. We offer services that have been strategically organized to produce high quality results. We are focused on providing essential assistance, such as, but not limited to transcription services, virtual assistance, web designing, audio, video, post production, and voiceovers. Transource Media, your most reliable partner for all your business needs. For more information, visit transsourcemedia.com. Taularan ay nasa iyo, bagong buwan. Buwan, movement party list ng bagong Pilipino. Mga kabataan, mga kababayan, ito ang bagong buwan. Break it down, 31, yo. 31, yo. 31, one, movement. 1 Movement Party List 31 sa Balota Iboto 1 Movement Party List 31 sa Balota Paid advertisement for and by 1 Movement Party List 145 Matatag Street, Tilman, Quezon City Transource Media is dedicated to provide reliable, affordable, fast, and efficient services to our clients. We offer services that have been strategically organized to produce high-quality results. We are focused on providing essential assistance such as, but not limited to transcription services, virtual assistance, web designing, audio, video, post-production, and voiceovers. Transource Media, your most reliable partner for all your business needs. For more information, visit transsourcemedia.com. 3 LPM Greats, Magsasama in a one-night special. Mesa Bar and Grill, Hector Mejia Associates, in cooperation with Buy-In Promotions, presents On The Go in San Francisco, 2019 U.S. Tour. Samahan natin ang Asia's Phoenix, Morissette. Pinoy hip-hop artist, h Bomb. 90s multi-awarded Pinoy band Intro Voice If I ever had a line to heaven I swear On to go in San Francisco 2019 US Tour May 12th, Sunday, 7pm At the Creative Arts Building Pittsburgh High School, Pittsburgh in California Kasama din si na Miriam Panti Divo Bayer, Ray Kilay Hyacinth and Monumental by Far As special guests For tickets, go to buyinpromotions.com slash on the go. That's buyinpromotions.com slash on the go. Tune in to V81 Radio for more details. On the go in San Francisco, 2019 U.S. Tour. Featuring Morissette, H-Bomb, and Intro Voice. Brought to you by Mesa Bar and Grill, Hector Mejia Associates. In cooperation with Buy and Promotions and your official radio partner, V81 Radio. All hits, all Pinoy. Pinoy, Tatap Pinoy, streaming worldwide. The future of radio. This is your all hits, all Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio. V81 Radio, V81 Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, Mr. Partner of the world's greatest artist, <laughs> JP. Uh, hello, please pick a card for me. I will be the one to do that for you. That's not fair. You don't ask readings from your loved ones, JP. <laughs> you're courting trouble. And you have the Six of Swords, meaning that you're going to be leaving a very painful part of your life so that you can move towards a better one. 
Okay, so keep that in mind. All movement is not necessarily bad movement. Okay, ah, sorry. Yeah, all movement is not bad movement. Elora is asking, do you plan on creating an Oracle deck? You know what? After this, yes. Uh huh. After this, yes. Okay. Why not? Rayumi, a love card for me. Another one broke up. Don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to give you to CJ. Sorry. There oh, you go. Okay. This, this Rayumi me. is asking for a card for her love life because she just broke up with her boyfriend. The Hermit. Uh, she uh, needs time. You need time for yourself. Just mm. go back to yourself. There you go. Don't forget yourself, darling. That's the biggest thing people forget. Themselves. Themselves. You know, yeah. they always tend to give, 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 and give. But yep. they never remember themselves. And then when they burn out and cry and melt down, that's it's, when it, it becomes a problem, right? But then, you know, after a breakup, it's always just like, okay, I'm I'm done. Mm -hmm. And now what? And then you start figuring out. You, who you, you know are. what people do, don't tend to miss out on is that like at that very painful week after a breakup <laughs> is the longest week of your life where yeah. your entire heart is being torn out of its socket, it's like... and you are just living in suffering <laughs> for every single day until every minute <laughs> until you find a way of you know how do I say adjusting if you know what I mean. Uh, another thing too about it though is that there's a great saying there there was there's a there was a philo philosopher his name was. Frederick Nietzsche, have you heard of him? Yes. Yes. And one of his greatest sayings, believe it or not, is not the one, God is dead. I find that blasphemous. Okay. His greatest saying was, that which does not kill me shall make me stronger. Ah, and so you know, many different traditions yeah, yeah. of that now. Yes. But do you know why he said that? Why? Because of a woman. Ah. Yes. He fell madly in love with Leo, Louis André Salome. And she was literally pimping herself to all the minds of the time. She was flirting with Freud. <laughs> she was flirting with Jung. She was like mad. He, she was flipped out by by uh, Nietzsche, and she was not giving herself to any of them. And if Nietzsche couldn't have her, Nietzsche became Nietzsche. He became stronger. <laughs> yeah, he be, so he, that's where he came up with that saying: "That which does not kill me <laughs> shall make me stronger." But the the part that they cut off was more pissed off in the process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, be careful with the power of love. Breakups really, really suck. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Um, more questions on the chat line if you want to ask anything. This is CJ's episode. And if you guys are interested in supporting the creation and the printing of his deck, uh, you deck. send us a deck, D-E-C-K. Yes, your beautiful <laughs> deck. Send us a message. We'll send you his link on PayPal, BDO, whatever he has. And then we will give you a form as to what, what kind of donation that you want to give to him, what sponsorship, and what you get for it. Because, I mean, even I'm going to give something after the show. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, people need this kind of support. People need this kind of um, support group. Because support groups are what make beautiful things happen. That's why Leap is such an amazing experience. It's such a beautiful experience. Yes, because the support group that you get there is legendary. Legendary. Okay, so we were talking about the creepy stuff, right? We were. We were. So, so I'm going to share on the air one of the scariest things that ever happened to me, and it involved Taro. Many years ago, I was in La Vista reading for a high end client. Yes, mm -hmm. they, they, they paid enough to get me out of. King's Landing <laughs> and into <laughs> into uh, into their home. So while I was there, I was reading in the lounge for one of the, 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 the daughter-in-law of the owner of the house. Okay. So I was reading for her. Let's call her, let's call her Ariane. Okay. okay. So I was reading for Ariane and we were inside that room and we noticed that the air conditioner kept on turning on and off on its own, which is nothing. We just thought it's like a fuse or something. We ignored it until... Ariane kind of got a bit irritated and got the remote and manually turned it on. Then we noticed that the French windows behind us began to fog, which is normal because obviously it's cold, cold in there and hot, hot outside. outside. That's just thermodynamics. Until after a while, we noticed that an entire panel of glass was all covered, all in mist because of the cold. Mm -hmm. So we were talking blah, blah, blah. When we looked again, handprint. Oh. <laughs> handprint, okay? So I was like, Ariane, did you see that? Was that there earlier? And she was like, no. And then we looked again. On the, on the bottom, there was another handprint being created right, like in, front right of, in front of right you. In, we were like, uh. whoa. <laughs> so me and her were kind of dumbfounded. So I was like, pare, kaibigan tayo, ha? Huh? We're friends. <laughs> friends lang tayo dito. Right at that moment, we both heard something sit down on the leather sofa next to us. <laughs> I was like, 
wow beautiful okay. so we ended up telling the owner of the house and then what ended up <laughs> happening was the owner came down storming down asking me what did you do Voldemort yeah. and I was like what, what did I do <laughs> you know, I'm not that powerful I was just it's already the, there exactly I was just reading the tarot so, well how can this be I mean how can my um, how can my house be haunted it's brand new i just built it i said yes ma'am the, the house is new but the land is not the land is so not. that being <laughs> said that's the ghost story of the day <laughs> all right rob will drop by soon leap 79 friends office of robert rubin is right beside mine when you visit him you can pass by my office too yeah it's literally right next to the center so rosan's office is now ah. next to the center all right so like that was just one of the scary things I'm sure there's um, more. There were a lot of others. It was like one of us doing an investigation of someone. Mm -hmm. And then um, she was f thinking that she was under some sort of kulam attack. Yeah. So she hired me to check her house. She hired me to check out what was going on. And then when I noticed her house, um, there was something really wrong because she wasn't getting sick because she was really deep into healing, pranic, reiki. A lot of people were sending her positive energy. Mm -hmm. But her husband was getting very, very sick. So she had the defenses. He didn't. So I was trying to figure out why does he keep getting sick and not her and and how are they getting in? So I kind of looked at the house and their bedroom was right under the living room. It's okay. Like, okay, what could it be? Went under the living room and I saw this old antique mirror made of wood and glass. And I said, ma'am, where did you get this? I was already having hints about it. and said, oh, I got that in an estate auction in San Francisco. I brought it back here. Really? So first thing I did, I had my trusty EMF meter placed it next to it it went full blast <laughs> now emf stands for electromagnetic frequency okay meaning a oh, glass okay. <laughs> wood mirror does not let off emf on a regular on, basis on a regular basis so it's like that means <laughs> that this thing is juju charged yeah <laughs> so the next thing i did was i did a standard tawas that god rest his soul alex angeles taught me from mysterio i wanted to see what kind of spirits were attached to this so in front of her i did the whole tawas and i burnt the paper and right when the image formed what i saw was like a line of silhouettes. So many. <laughs> many. One after the other after the other. It was like a long line of people. Yeah. And I said, uh, ma'am, let's call her uh, Linda. Linda, Okay. this isn't a mirror. This is a portal. <laughs> and you brought it into your home. And the minute they enter, they go up. Mm. And they're bothering your husband. We've got to cleanse this mirror now. Okay. So she sent the mirror to my house for a month. <laughs> for a month, clean. I was cleaning it. But the funny thing was this. When I went to her room to further investigate, this is what really scared the pants off of me. Mm -hmm. I was looking around and said, there has to be some sort of proof of phenomenon. Looking around, I couldn't find anything until I looked up. When I looked up, the ceiling was covered with footprints and handprints oh of different sizes. Did they not see that? They did not. I was like, do you see that? How did you not see it? Exactly. Like, how did you not see footprints? And it's just like, oh, nga. oh my God. And then I said, this is like literally physically impossible because for a footprint to be here means I would have had to lift somebody upside yeah, yeah, down yeah, and let like, them walk. Yep. So I was like, things are crawling into your house <laughs> and we got to cleanse this now. <laughs> so I spent like a good week afterwards cleansing that place. Thankfully, the lady, the, the husband passed away because he was already cancer ridden, mm. but the lady is still fine and she's still a dear friend of mine. So yes, that's the story of the... <laughs> Cursed mirror. Okay, Rox, this is for you. You're asking for a card. The Emperor. What does this mean? Somebody very powerful is going to be entering your life and doing a lot of favors because of your lovely charm. So keep it up. So tonight, it's 9.12 on the clock and we are still here with CJ uh, Francisco, founder of the Imaginarium Tarot and, of course, Mysterium, graduate of Intuitive Awakenings and soon Tarot. tarot. All right. So what would you like to ask for in terms of support from the viewers, what they can do to help you with the deck? I mean, what would you like to just bring up to the world? Actually, I think for now, it's like the easiest way to support me would mm -hmm. be to follow my Instagram mm -hmm. and my Facebook page. Yes. So follow that Imaginum, uh, Imaginarium Tarot on Facebook and Instagram. There you go. And of course, if you really love him and you want to support him, he will yes. be posting the tiers of what you get if you sponsor the deck and how many decks you get or how many readings you get, mm -hmm. how many personal artworks you get, all the things. I'm sure all the details. you've got it like planned from like 500 to 10,000, right? Yep. Or what if somebody gives you a million? You know what? I will I, <laughs> take me of yours. <laughs> your, your boyfriend's watching. You're going to get <laughs> Jap Ayuyao. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Oh, Leap. My oh. Leap mate. Oh, hello. Sorry. Who's this? <laughs> Rina Sandugo. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. There's people asking questions on the air. Anna Walls. Hello, may I have a card, please? Sure, fire away. CJ, draw Anna Walls card. All please. right. The High Priestess mm. in reverse. 
So maybe it's time for you to just really listen to others. Like, it's more of yourself, but then take heed of what other people are saying. Like, be more aware of what they're saying. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So I hope everybody out there is also safe from the earthquake. That really did an interesting thing with our travel <laughs> plans. We were in the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time, time, getting stuck there, but we found a way out. Now, what is the card for CJ? You know, that's a very good one. I will draw a card for CJ, Monty. Ah. I'm such a supportive coach. I don't think her and I have formally met. Maybe we have. I mean, ooh, he's got the three of wands. This means that CJ is going to be going a lot further than just Manila and the Philippines. Ah. This means that CJ is going to be going places. You better have your passport and travel documents in <laughs> order, my friend. Maybe you know it's I mean? not just Manila. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't. No, no. I mean, like just not just you know, Shargao. I mean, like, what if not Hong Kong? What if America? Hong Kong, America. So oh, you know what? That's fine. Exactly. That's why not say yes to it? Yes you know to I mean? everything. But you need to have a passport. That's I do have a passport. Yes to it all. <laughs> so okay, it is now nine fourteen. We have fifteen minutes left. All right, now we're just gonna goof off for the remainder of the show. Um, if he's in the mood, he can. Okay, Isabel Bernardo is asking for a card. Do you know this person? No. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's draw a card. You know, I'm so touched that a lot of my students are uh, asking me if I'm safe. Chariot. Go on. Go on. The chariot reversed. Uh -huh. For me, it's talking about you want to do something, but you're kind of not. You kind of don't want to do anything. Yeah. Like you're there, but you're, you're not hesitant. There. <laughs> you're there, but yeah, you're not. You're holding back. You know, you're, you're being back. gun shy, right? Okay, so let me you know. Let the bullets fly. Okay. Um. So if you could do, aside from Manila, where would your dream launch be? Huh. And you can't say Shargao. Damn, I was just gonna say Shargao. Um, you know, I think somewhere cool, a cooler climate, somewhere cold, somewhere mm -hmm. Europe, mm -hmm. maybe Paris. Look at that. All right, maybe Paris. Paris. Maybe well, Paris, uh -huh. or maybe in. Actually, no, Paris. Paris. So you want Paris. Okay, now. Catacombs of Paris. The catacombs. The catacombs Damn. of Paris. You know? It's okay. Well, why Just not? Just said we're going with the creepy creepy vibe. But you're, no offense. Your deck's not creepy. It is not. So Actually, why would you want to do that? I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not questioning. I'm all for the creepy stuff. It's fun. It but it's fun. just like, you know, this is very lovely. I could show this to my mother and stuff. Yeah. This is not like the, the three of dead decapitated <laughs> heads, you know. Um, there are some decks that do that. So uh, the catacombs, you'd really do it there. I, it would be an interesting place. Or a castle somewhere. The, the, the castle a is... A castle is, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, some castle. Some castle. But actually, um, the main reason... I actually really appreciate that you mentioned that because one of the reasons why I made the deck this way uh -huh. is because a lot of people have that misconception that it's evil, yeah. it's, it's the devil's work, blah, 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 because it looks scary. Yeah, I hear that all the time. Hence, I made it colorful, bright, and very cute. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it's very approachable. It's not... It doesn't feel... It's digestible, for lack of a better word. Yeah, like, okay, for me, like, Death Card is so uh, misinterpreted by a lot of people who don't know. But your Devil Card is just really the, stereotyped. The, the, no, the death, the death. No, but the Devil Card in your deck the is devil, really... Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just went... I went for, like, let's go, let's no, go, yeah, Shadow, no. go scary. Yeah, let's go all out. But my Death Card, I didn't want it to be, like, you know, Death... Yeah. With the scythe and everything. Yours is more like trans transformation. Transformation. Did you ever think about changing the word then to transformation? You know what? I could. I mean, because like really, um, Alistair Crowley did that. Like uh, with 14, I think it was, uh, he did transformation instead of death. And he did something like the devil was like bondage or something. My devil, I want it to be shadow. Okay, dr wait, draw a card for Alexandra Alzate. She's also a dear... Uh, oh, alumnus of Mysterium. Also. This is CJ Francisco doing Hello. the deck. Hello. Chariot. So the chariot. Again, it's all about moving forward mm -hmm. and pursuing what you want. Okay, I have another question about the launch of this upcoming because I'm kind of excited for it. Okay. What do we expect? Do we expect bar and cocktails, coffee and drinks? Coffee. Uh, coffee. coffee. Okay, tyro coffee and coffee. Coffee and reading. Co so coffee and readings. That will be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm sure you could organize that in your yes. class. And then, um, is this going to be a launch that is exclusive only to people who pre-purchase? Or is this going to be open to the public? I mean, how do you intend to do this? Mm, you know what? Open to the public is great. Okay. Like, people can come in. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, everyone's invited. Like, yes. For me, anything is generally like, okay, every, open invitation to mm -hmm. everything. Well, there you go. That, that's so, perfect. Yeah. So, it's something to look out for. But then, of course, oh, no, here's a question. Can anybody just buy the deck on that day? Ah. Or is this going to be the day where you reveal the deck only to those who said, you know, who red herringed you? That, that 
will be maybe there'll be a few mm-hmm. maybe if you're lucky if you're lucky but it's uh-huh. gonna be mainly for the ones who support it all right maybe i'll have like two decks to sell or three two decks but you know most mo- it's mostly basically just me thanking every single person who supported but if everyone if anyone wants to come why not <laughs> when is the launch and where we're not saying this yet uh, <laughs> where are we gonna? We're not. We're not fully revealing yet where it's gonna be and when because not yet where, but when ideally. Ideally, yeah. Ideally, I see it happening on the first of August. August first of first of August. Of August. Be, I'd I'd actually recommend to you that you do it before Ghost Month. Ah. You don't want to like trigger any of the Ghost Month energies. That's true. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! Okay, so once again, how can people reach you? What can people do to contact hmm. you? Yes. Um. Uh. You can check out. Check it out on Instagram and Facebook. That's Imaginarium, uh, Imaginarium Tarot. Mm-hmm. Then that's it. That's it. Just Facebook and Instagram for now. Amazing, amazing. Later on, maybe I'll have like a website. Well, I look forward to that one. And then also, um, do, can people have readings with you? Yes. Okay, they can schedule readings with you? Oh, uh, wait. No, 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 no. Not no. yet. Not yet. Okay, so not, yet. not yet. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. Okay, so you're not into the wilderness yet. I see. Okay, okay. Um, now, are there advocacies that you want to share that, you know, like save the whales or something like save that? Save the earth. Save, save the environment. The earth. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Please one of, go right ahead and talk about okay, it. Okay, so one of my... One of my initial goals mm-hmm. during Leap was to create like this uh, tour group about all about sustainability in Shargao mm-hmm. because Shargao is so near and dear to my heart. I lived yes. there for two months and then I'm going back there this September and staying there for who who knows when. For but you know like I really want people to remember that things in the environment, things that you do, uh, they affect mm-hmm. every little thing. Like one piece of garbage can turn into a million pieces, and you know they have this whole problem. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, your small act of kindness can also build. Because when you do something nice to someone, they'll do something nice to someone else. And then exactly. it's a chain. It's, it's, the, it's a pay it forward. Exactly. Like, okay. it was so funny because one time I was walking um, uh, along Mega Mall. Mm-hmm. And then I saw someone give, like, money to, like, a beggar. And then from there, like, someone saw it. And then I saw this person, like, give a seat. Like, I rode with her by the bus. And then this lady mm-hmm. gave her seat to this other person. I mm-hmm. was like, oh, look at that. That's like, so cute. It's, it's like really directly seeing the effects of that. There you go. It's just good karma going around. Good karma. Um, Alexandra is asking, oh, is the deck for sale now? No, it's not. not it's for pre-purchase uh, being works. available in... It's going to be available... Um, what was I going to say in August but he, I'm sure since he's a Mysterium graduate he's going to start posting photos of it on the Mysterium community page so for those of you who are part of our illustrious community of wizards witches warlocks demons devils and everything in between <laughs> yes you will get to see first uh, first cracks at it soon enough so 921 on the clock now what's your biggest wish for 2019? me? yes my biggest wish for 2019 ah that this would go According to plan, mm-hmm. that this baby of mine will come out with all fingers and toes. <laughs> oh yes, let's hope for that. But then you know what? Like I said, I'm proud you. Li- I'm happy you listened to me. That deck's already alive. It is. They, they cannot. They, it cannot be stopped. It can just be kind of like delayed. Delayed, but you know not what I mean. Stopped. Or even like crippled. Like it's only 22 cards, which we don't want to happen. Mm-hmm. But in its form, that's already alive. It so is. I'm very, very proud of you. The for moment doing I that. got it earlier, I was mm-hmm. like, "It's here! It's alive!" Yeah, now you know how I felt, and especially with my with books. Book? Until, until the book is like, "Managigila ko." I'm like, "It's just like, mm-hmm. it's just like I have to be there now." Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, is there anything wrong? You didn't call. Maybe there's something wrong. You're not telling me. <laughs> and they're like, "Sorry, it's okay. Leave us alone." <laughs> now, because um, all really, uh, we we talked about it in private, but there's really a phenomenon known as astral opposition, and when you're about to do something amazing in this world. Uh, there are certain forces that will try to get in the way. It's just it's a f- fact of yeah. life. I mean, uh, certain people of certain ideologies may not agree with me, but in all honesty, it's true. So I it don't is. Really mess with it. Like w- like over the weekend, uh-huh. I was supposed to work on everything. Uh-huh. I got sick to mm-hmm. the point where I need antibiotics. You like, know, one of the best people to talk to uh-huh. in preparing for the worst case scenario is your classmate Nian. Oh, uh, really? You know why? She will help you make a flow chart. <laughs> really, she will sit you down and make a, f- and she'll teach you how to make a flow chart of like, if this happens, then Do what? This. And so it's like you're always like, well, okay, this is next. Okay. okay, so like example, you're prepared. Yeah, example like if your boyfriend is abducted by aliens, <laughs> what will you do? Will you just stop? And then it's like. 
<laughs> follow the flow chart. It's like, okay, I'm yeah. gonna look at the flow chart. Yeah, Let's she's, do. she's really brilliant, right? She, like, I love her. Like when we met, she uh-huh. was like, please make like a list. Uh-huh. Please set a budget for yourself. <laughs> see, see, she's already doing it. She's just like, like oh. very technical. I mean, yes. her energy is very amazing. And you never know, maybe one of these days we're gonna have her on the show. And then um, if there's one celebrity or person or let's say a real life figure you would like to meet, who would it be? Huh, real life figure. Hmm. You know what? Beyonce would be, you know what? <laughs> That's more of an answer for me. Like, I want to be Beyonce. I, I want to meet Beyonce. <laughs> you want to meet Beyonce? Like, I want to meet Beyonce. Why like, not? Really? But like, well, it, really, why her? I mean, you know. Oh, wait. Okay. One, because she's, you know, she's Beyonce. Okay. She's fun. Okay. But coming from you, that's very awkward. But <laughs> she's fine. Just, uh, mostly she's fun. men find her fun. But she, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, okay. She, she but uh, I think on a more different route, just just because she's like yeah. she's so great with music. Uh-huh. But on another route, I think I've already met him actually. Ransom Riggs. Okay. Like I met him, but like I want to actually sit down mm-hmm. and talk to him and just be like. Okay. Fanboy over his book. Is this somebody that you'd want to read the tarot for? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yes. Like it's like me. So my much. my goal personally is two people I'd like to read the tarot for in this world. One of them would be President Barack Obama. Okay. Really, I just be like Mr. President, but I'm not president anymore, Robert. No, no, you're still my you're president. You're still my president. <laughs> like I'd like to read the tarot for you if you'd allow me. He's number one, and number two is Tony Robbins. Hmm. As in Tony Robbins would, because like I already met one of my idols and read the tarot for him. Because uh. there's a side of me that most people don't know. I am a very lousy jujitsu fighter. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm very lousy at it. I try, but I suck. And one of my heroes is a former UFC champion called Frank Mir. Okay. And I told my wife before that I am gonna read the tarot for him one day, and she was like, "It's not gonna happen." <laughs> and when I sent her a photo of me reading the tarot, she was like, "It happened." How did you do that? I'm like, he knows me. He made a video. He took me to breakfast. It's like, <laughs> you don't mess with manifestation. <laughs> Yeah. So, Manifestation yeah, is the yeah. best. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to shout out to Winston Lim for being such a good mm. guy at teaching that. He's really making a lot of segue with that course of his. Um, he's making it more palatable because if I were to teach it, it's too Hogwarts. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't have a cauldron. <laughs> I don't have snake blood. Him is these really good and practical and normal theories that entry everyone, level, yeah, everyone, can. entry level people can do. So, Winston, thank you for being such a positive positive impact to the world around you i mean i would have never expected it from somebody of his stature but thank you I mean, it's like that these it's these amazing people who do such out of character yes. things you know what i mean that just really impact all right we've got four minutes left on the air anybody on the facebook live page if you want to ask a question do it now nadine a registered nurse is asking a question card for me please draw one for her all right okay oh the high priestess okay fire ah, i'm getting a lot of this mm-hmm so I think for you, it's more of just allowing yourself to be, to surrender to yourself mm-hmm. and just being like, okay, you're guided by your natural femininity mm-hmm. and just trust that. There you go. More power. Next. Anybody else want to ask questions? 13 people are watching, but nobody's asking anything. That is very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> That's not good. I'm just kind of honored that like my friend Angelo, who I've been trying to get on the show, is asking, "Are you safe?" <laughs> I mean, like it's, it's touching to hear that your students care about you. I mean, people complain when people don't care about them. <laughs> also, a bit of a spoiler: this uh, April 27, our lovely Lashara is going to be giving a workshop on crystal grids at Mysterium Philippines. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to learn to create your own crystal so grid, be given your own crystals as well. And learn how to use these crystals. You can take this program with Lishara. We still have seats available, um, but we only have a few left. So do not risk it. Don't wait to the last minute. We really, really want to, you know, um, how do I say, have you around. Okay. Uh, Elora is asking, one card for me, please. I draw a f- card for CJ. It's, oh, wow. Elora oh. drew a card for you, and it's Ten of Cups. Wow. Happily uh, ever after. That's so oh, nice. Oh, yes. I just, yes. So Beautiful. There, there you go. Elora, draw a card for me, for crying out loud. Just do me a favor. <laughs> I drew a card for her. Uh huh. And what did she get? Uh, reverse judgment. Oh. I think for this card, it's more about um, taking a step back, mm. taking a step back, and just reassessing, like, what your choices are. Yeah. There you go. So, last two minutes on the show. I just wanted to take this time to say. To everyone who tuned in, thank you for making this a very meaningful episode for CJ. Um, yes. 
We want nothing more than to help him with his Imaginarium Tarot. It's a very beautiful, beautiful effort. Elora, I'm still waiting for that card. I could really use it right now. Uh, but then again, for those of you who have a deep interest in topics of the intuitive, learning more about these kind of practices, Mysterium Philippines is always going to be your place to go. We always want to have new and exciting people. We can always arrange modes of payment for you if you need assistance. It's not about the money to us. It's about the commitment. But at the end of the day, the goal of Mysterium is really to bring everybody together into one beautiful, happy, um, how do I say, one beautiful, happy, intuitive community. So on that note, CJ, thank you very much. Thank you so much. This is Rob Rubin. We're signing out tonight for Mysterium After Dark. See you all next week. Bye. Radio.